thoughts. Who has had those? Yes, all of us? Thoughts. What is a thought? Somebody answer. What is a thought? Shout it out. That's an idea? Okay. What's another, what's another definition or what's a, a concept of a thought? Throw it out there. Internal dialogue. Ooh, it's good. Very good. Wow. What else? Dreams. Yes. Another one? Thoughts. Something that can become a thing. Somebody's read Napoleon Hill. All right. What else? Thoughts. When I say the word, what comes to your mind? Go ahead. <laughs> Just an idea. Just an idea. Does this make it sense? Thoughts? We agree on this consensus? It's just an idea. It's a dream. It's a, a concept. It's uh, internal dialogue. This is working for everybody? Yeah. We've all had these? Yeah. Have we had good thoughts? Yes. Have we had bad thoughts? Never. <laughs> Have we had thoughts we're embarrassed of? <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Yeah, of course we have. It's the human experience, isn't it? To have thoughts. To think. I think, therefore I... Yes. Oh, you guys are good. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thoughts. Thoughts. We all have them, inescapable. It's inventory. It's either a tool or it's a problem, right? Because either way, it's here. It's either going to move us forward or it's going to move us back. We're either going to grow or we're going to die. The thoughts are what dictates our, who knows the next one? <laughs> who said feelings? Here's the, here's the process of manifestation, three absolutes. Thoughts lead to feelings. How you feel about something will dictate your, ah, we're getting there. This is not new to you, right? This is obvious. And yet the simple things are the things we ignore. So feelings, what creates feelings? Does anybody know what creates the feelings that we have? Our thoughts create the feelings. Are they fixed? Can they be changed? There's something in here called beliefs. Beliefs are thoughts, instructions. You can look at them as the instruction for the thought. A thought comes in or, or awareness comes in, and then you get, it hits a belief. And that the belief decides what the feelings are going to be. All right? We'd like to see an example of this. Okay. Who's afraid of stage? Who's ever been afraid of stage, maybe still has that fear of stage? It's pretty badass to put your hands up, because anybody putting their hands up is likely getting called on stage, right? <laughs> if it's any sign of what I've done so far. Oh, Kristen, you're fine. <laughs> Did you know that stage, sp public speaking, is one of the biggest fears that people have on the planet? Anybody heard that before? Yeah, the big joke in my business is people would rather die than do what we do. <laughs> But my biggest fear is death, you know, <laughs> I'll be real with you. Or, or dying without having served a purpose would be my real fear. I don't mind dying. I just want to make sure I got my shit done before I go. Does that make sense? I just got to finish it off. And then I'm like, take me whenever you want. But I picked a big goal. <laughs> it's going to take some while. You're going to have to help me out with this one. Thoughts lead to feelings. Feelings lead to... Oh, go ahead. Don't be shy. You know this one. You got it. Thoughts lead to feelings. Feelings lead to actions. These are the three absolutes. You cannot get away from them. You cannot escape them. If I say pink elephant, don't think about a pink elephant. What has happened just now? Motherfucking elephants. And they're pink. Somebody else has control of my thoughts. What the hell's going on here? How dare he make me think about pink elephants? I know. I told you. We're going to hypnotize you this weekend. But I'm going to make you think about saying yes to the right things and no to the wrong things. I'm going to have you 80-20 your life. I'm going to have you say no to most of the shit that comes your way. 
Like, who has that annoying, annoying friend who always wants to go party and drink, but doesn't know when to stop drinking and doesn't know when to stop pressuring you to keep drinking? Anybody have that friend? So thoughts lead to feelings. What if our belief system around that friend was just no? No pressure, no energy, not a concern, just no. And then feelings, who, who likes the idea of working an extra eight hours a day? Who thinks that's like terrible though? Yeah. But what if, what if, it was to move your life's mission forward? What if it was to maybe get yourself to an event like this where there was 100 amazing people in the room who you'd be inspiring, who'd be partnering together, who'd be moving and doing things? I can't even keep track of what this mission does anymore. There's so many people involved. Each one of you is building businesses. Each one of you is connecting. Each one of you is lending money, taking deals down, finding deals, partnering, contracting. Each one of you is doing so much. I just kind of... I like glimpse through the recaps of the day. I'm like, holy shit, like, wow, everybody's partnering, everybody's making money, right? It's getting a mind of its own. Every so often people will tell me, this group started. And I'm like, whoa, we got Alchemist alumni now. <laughs> That's cool. Alchemist ladies, right, Kim? It's like, whoa, where are these things coming from? They're just, it's organic. It just comes out of nowhere. Because the mission's got a mind of its own. All I am is facilitating as much as I can facilitate, but the more people I bring in, the more people it brings in more ideas come out of it, the more businesses are built, the more businesses that support other businesses. Imagine if I didn't have that excited feeling when I'm putting, that video I put together, right? It took me four hours. And it took some, Darina some time getting some of the clips from the Fiverr people, which by the way, again, thank you, Darina. She does a lot. Imagine if I didn't put that together. Imagine if we didn't go through the time to come out here and check out the hotel. Imagine if we didn't do all that extra stuff. It wouldn't be as much fun, would it? Imagine if we just didn't do the event. Right? Who's gotten so much out of this? You know you've already got the ROI right now. We're just getting started. This is just the beginning. I get excited when an opportunity shows up. I get excited. When COVID hit, I was fucking flipping. I was like, oh my God, Black Swan, I've been waiting for one of these. Thank you, Jesus. You listen to my prayers. When, when the shit goes down, I, I feel like a savior. I feel like there's an opportunity for me to show up and be bigger than I was before. Who knows that the next black swan, you want to be the one saving people's lives. You want to be the one who's jumping in, creating opportunities. The big green arrow. I put dollar signs on the side of this one. I put hearts in there, too, because you get the relationships. And I put the plus sign, because you get to live longer, because you get the right results. Thoughts lead to feelings, feelings lead to actions, actions lead to results. If you can change your story, like Tony Robbins says, you can change the way you feel about a situation, about a challenge, about a problem. Shift it into your mind to be an opportunity. When something goes wrong in my portfolio, I think, cool, what can we do? Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe we could find a different thing to fix for our tenants. When COVID hit, I realized that we were kind of dicks. We relied on evictions. I didn't know how heavily we relied on evictions until we didn't have the eviction play anymore. Suddenly, we became the tenant's best friend. We just figured, be decent human beings. It's worked for us this far. Just reach out, see how we can help. When they said they didn't have money, we were like, here's Raft. <laughs> here's home base. Here's some programs that the government's put in place for you. And we got rent back. We just went into be a decent human being mode. Right? A little more customer service. How do we help and support our tenants? Who did that during COVID? Reached out to their tenants, had more deep conversations. How do we help you? How do we support you? Yeah. These challenges create opportunities for us. Now, going forward, we're keeping all of that in place. COVID's gone. We can evict people. But we said, let's just keep being decent human beings. Let's just keep this business kind of being a very personal business. Our tenants, no, my tenants all have my cell phone. 51 tenants, 51 families, right? Most of my tenants have kids. We do two and three bedroom apartments. Very few one, we think we have one or two one bedrooms. It's not our business, we don't like the ones. I would buy them now because it's harder to find the twos and threes. But for the longest time, we were always buying twos and threes. We like families, right? Like the idea of like housing families and putting them in a safe place. Clean and safe has been our motto. We're never luxury. 
We were working class, clean and safe. When something happens, I get excited. When something that would normally scare people happens, I get excited. I think, opportunity. I get to save the day. Who thinks that would be a very empowering thought? Yeah. I want you to practice it. Practice it today. Practice it this weekend. Practice when you get uncomfortable. Maybe you could be the person who brings comfort to the person in front of you.